Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Signing with Omar. Today's video is going to focus on time indicators. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now the first sign we're going to start off with is the sign now. To sign now, simply take both hands form-wise with the palm facing the signer. And from here what you'll do is you'll take both hands around the shoulder level or a little bit higher than, than the shoulder level, starting from there and bring them downwards. Now. Now. That is simply how you sign now. For the sign today. It's very similar to the sign now, the same hand shape, the same motion. However, with the sign today, you will do the movement twice. Today. That is how you sign today. Now for the sign later. To sign later, simply take your dominant hand, form the hand shape of the letter L, and from here, the index finger will go forward. Now, the thumb will pretend as if it's pivoting off of something while the index finger goes forward. Let me see if I can shoot it from the side. That is how you sign later. Now for the sign recent. To sign recent, simply take your dominant hand Make a fist, but extend out that index finger. And from here, you will bend the index finger as if it was a hook. Now take that index finger, bring it towards the side of the face, and go backwards in a slight arc motion. Let me see if I can show you that from the side. That is how you sign recent. The sign passed. To sign pass, simply take your dominant hand, bring that out in front of the body with the palm facing the signer. And from here, extend up the fingers with the thumb a little bit lateral. And now, with this hand, bring it towards the shoulder, bend at the wrist as if you're flicking backwards. Let me see if I can show you that from the side. This is a sign as if something happened before or in my past. Now for the sign long ago, I'll do this a variety of ways. One way is this, or I can do this. Now what I'm indicating is that this happened quite some time ago, maybe as a child. So it's a little bit different from just something that happened in the past or just happened before, but I'm indicating that this happened quite some time ago. Now what I do with my dominant hand is I extend it out in front of the body, usually the palm is facing the side, and then I will wiggle my fingers and actually as I'm wiggling them, I'm bringing them back over my shoulders and a little bit past my shoulders going backwards and I'm indicating my on my face it happens quite some time ago so let me show you that now another way very similar but this time what I'll do is I'll have my palm facing the sign or completely going backwards and then we'll go to fingers that is how I signed long ago now, maybe something happened like in ancient times, and what you do is you be a little bit more dramatic with the face, but now I'll use both hands, and I'll do this motion right here, going over my shoulders and a little bit past my shoulders. Now, the face will indicate that it happened. this happened a long time ago. Or, that is how I sign like ancient times. For the sign tomorrow, let me show you from the side. To sign tomorrow, take your dominant hand, do the hand shape of A. Now, with your hands or your fingers and knuckles, bring that right there either up against the side of the face or just a little bit on the face. And then I will take my thumb and flick it forward like an arc motion. That is how I sign tomorrow. For the sign tonight. Now, what I do to sign tonight is I'll do two separate signs. The first is now, which I showed you previously, and the other one is night. To sign night, simply take your non-dominant hand, flex the fingers, and from here, take your dominant hand, do the same exact hand shape, but now take 
this hand, the dominant hand, and tap with the palm the non-dominant hand fingers. Let me show you that from the side. That is the sign night. Now to put that whole sign together tonight, I will go now night. That is how I sign tonight. For the sign this morning. To sign this morning, it's actually two signs. The first part is now, and the second part is morning. To sign morning, simply take your non-dominant hand, extend that out in front of the body with the palm facing the signer. Now with your dominant hand, extend out that arm and place the non-dominant hand between the forearm and the upper arm, right in the crease right here. Now with your dominant hand, extend that out upwards, just like this from the side or from this way. Now, put that whole sign together, now morning. That is how you sign this morning. For the sign yesterday, or to sign yesterday, the first way is to actually take your dominant hand and form the hand shape of A. With your thumb, bring that right there by the side of the mouth, and from here, go up towards the opening of the ear. Let's see if I can show you from the side. Now, the other way is actually taking your dominant hand and form the letter Y. With this thumb, it goes right in the same place I did with the other way. Place that right there by the side of the mouth and go towards the opening of the ear. So let me show you both of those. Or, that is how you sign yesterday. The sign year. To sign year, simply take both hands and form S's. Now, take your non-dominant hand in front of the body and now take your dominant hand and place that on top of the non-dominant hand. And from here, the dominant hand will go right in front, up underneath, around, and back, and right back to where it started. From here. That is how you sign year. Now, to sign next year, you simply start just as you did with the sign year, but take now your dominant hand, move that forward, and as it goes forward, flick the index finger forward. Let me see if I can show you that from the side. That is how you sign next year. Now, if you want to sign last year, very similar, but this time what I do is I will take my index finger and flex it towards the signer or towards me. Show you from the side. That is how you sign last year. So you have year, next year, and last year. Will. Now, I'll use this as if I'm asked uh, are you going to maybe clean your room? Yeah, I will. I will. That's something I'm going to do in the immediate future. So to sign this, simply take your dominant hand with the fingers together. Now the palm is facing the side. What I'll do from here is do a little small arc forward. Let me show you that from the side. Will. That is how you sign will. Now, if you want to sign future, very similar to the sign will, same hand motion, same hand shape, but this time you'll do a little bit more of an exaggerated arc forward. Let me show you. Now for will, I did a small arc. Future, I went a little bit further. Now if something was way out far in the future, you will do an exaggerated motion a bigger arc going forward, but you make sure you show that in the face. Like far in the future. Now, let me show you will, just a very small arc, future, a little bit bigger, and if it's way far in the future, that is how you sign will, future, and way or far out in the future. The sign time. 
To sign time, simply take your non-dominant hand, form a fist, bring that out in front of the body with the palm facing downward. Now with your dominant hand, extend out the index finger, bend it slightly, and tap the back of the wrist of the non-dominant hand twice from the side. That is how you sign time. Now for the sign hour or to sign hour, simply take your non-dominant hand, bring that out in front of the body with the palm facing towards the side. Now with your dominant hand, form a fist, but extend out the index finger. Take that hand, bring that right up against the palm of the non-dominant hand. And from here you have a choice. Because of my wrist problems, what I do is I will do a rotation forward as if I'm going around the clock and I will bring it right back up against the palm of the non-dominant hand. Now the other way is this. What you're doing is actually taking your index finger, tracing the clock, bending that, and then coming back where it started. So let me show you what that sign looks like all together. From the side. That is how you sign hour. Now just say you had to say something like in a second or maybe in an instant or a moment. To do this, simply take your non-dominant hand, extend out the index finger. Now do the same exact sign with your dominant hand, but now place the palm, the very bottom of the palm, up against the index finger of the non-dominant hand and flick for just a little. Let me show you from the side. That is how I would sign second or in a moment. Now, just say you have to do the sign minute. It's the exact same motion, hand shape, but I will do a bigger motion forward. So this is how I would sign minute. From the side. Now, second or moment is very small, subtle, but for minute, a little bit bigger. That is how I sign minute. The sign after. Let me see if I can show you that from the side. To sign after, simply take your non-dominant hand, place it out in front of the body with the palm facing downward. Now with your dominant hand, palm is actually going to be facing towards the side. Bring this over the non-dominant hand, forming a little bit of an arc. After. That is how you sign after. The sign forever. To sign forever, simply take your dominant hand, extend out the index finger, and from here what I do is I pretend as if I'm going around the clock one complete time, and then from here, once I get to the top, I will take my hand, form the letter Y, and then do an upward forward arc motion. One more time. Go around with the index finger, back to the top, form the letter Y, go forward and up. One more time. That is how I sign forever. Sometimes you'll see just this out in the deaf community, just for the Y, but I do it with the circular motion and then the Y. That is how you sign forever. The sign happen. To sign happen, simply take both hands, extend out the index finger, palms are actually facing one another, and then from here you will actually bring them towards one another, turning the palms downward, going down until the index fingers touch one another. Happen. Let's see if I can show you that from the side. That is how I sign happen. Now for the sign until. To sign until, simply take your non-dominant hand, extend out the index finger, palm is actually facing up. Now with your dominant hand, extend out the index finger and then from here, bring them together. Until, until, from the side, until, until. That is how I sign until. Now these are a few of my time indicators. If you learned anything from this video, do me a favor, 
hit that like button. Next, hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification button and stay tuned for my next ASL video.